Welcome to our HSC Creative Arts and TAS online exhibition. In this show, you'll have the opportunity to see interesting timber projects, visual arts body of works, photography and visual design works, and hear a number of our students talking about their ideas and how they have created their works. We are very proud of our Year 12 students who have persevered with their practical exam during this somewhat challenging year. Their determination has resulted in many outstanding works, as you'll see. We hope you enjoy the show. You can pause at any time or re-watch sections at your own leisure. Thank you. Congratulations on this beautiful piece of work. Thank you. Tell me what inspired you to create this. Um, actually, how our Year 12 captains like really raise awareness about mental health and how they did, you know, Movember and raise money with young young people mental health. It really inspired me to do this kind of thing. Done with charcoal? Oh no, pencil, graphite pencil. pencil. Oh, graphite pencil, yeah. the whole thing's a pencil work. Yeah, it's like different strengths of pencil. Yeah. And like, just like darker areas, I would just use like 9B. Wow. Like, yeah. Now, in terms of that, what were you trying to tell us about mental health? Um, how it can be like hidden really easily by a smile and how like a person can be suffering internally by themselves and how it can be like get really bad overbearing for one person if they don't reach out to someone. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. <laughs> Very proud of you. Yep. What inspired you and what statement are you trying to make in relation to your work? So, um, for me, um, so this man right here, that's uh, an artist called J. Cole, he's a, he's a rapper. And um, he recently, not recently, but a couple years ago put, an out, put out an album called um, KOD. And its theme is a lot about um, materialism, addiction, and that struggle with that, and a lot of stuff that he went through in his life. And, I found that inspiring for me because I feel like it really, really applies to our world right now. That's really yeah. good. And the, in the last part of it, here, uh -huh. well, is it the last part? Would that be the first? Yeah. So there? it's um, it's actually kind of like a story in a sense where um, the title is called Vision, Chaos, and Uniformity. That all those three are of me, and they're all the same kind of thing. They each represent a different um, kind of um, uh, factor. Um, so like the first one here is about um, sadness, the second one's about um, being rich and the third is about being fake. Um, so it's an obvious representation there. Um, so you got the first one obviously being sad, the second one's about like being rich but having that monetary richness but truly like no, there's a moral decay and, and there's, there's a lack of real substance then. That's why you've got the decay coming out of the head and stuff like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in the third one, you've got the the real, but um, it's kind of crafted by the social media and the technology. So that's why you've got all the cogs and gears inside of the head and um, the robotic and metallic um, images there. So that's what I mean. It's kind of a story that links with the title that um goes from left to right. So yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Well done. Thanks, sir. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Excellent. This is your major work for industrial technology timber. Indeed. Now, can I ask you firstly, why the flying V? Um, well, I've just I've been a fan of 
heavy metal and thrash metal music for a long time and a lot of my guitar idols have used a guitar that sort of resembles this so I've borrowed aspects of each of theirs and, and morphed it into my own design. And are you a guitarist yourself? I am. That's beautiful. I've been playing for a couple of years now. Will you be using this yourself when you finish I it? I really, really hope so. You if will? It, if it's functional, yeah. Oh, you haven't tested it. You can't I tell can't test it yet, yeah. Until it's completed before you know whether it will be functional. Yeah, but I put a lot of time into it, so I'm very the, hoping it works. The design is beautiful. Thank what you. What kind of timber have you used? I used a black walnut yeah. for the body. This is a rosewood for the neck wow. and um, ebony for the fretboard. What was the hardest part in creating this? Uh, definitely the neck pocket where the neck slots in because the guitar, the neck had to be on a three degree angle to accommodate for the bridge that I was using here because the strings sit a little bit higher up yeah. and so they'd be going down at an angle and I had to do a lot of trial and error for um, the jig that I had to make for the neck pocket, otherwise the whole guitar would not have been functional if I got that wrong. I'm very proud of so what I got done. Be, by yeah. the way. It looks great. Thank you very much. Well, well done to you, Thomas. Congratulations. Luke, thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. It's all right. Luke, your piece of work is an outstanding piece. Thank you. Now, I want to ask you firstly, what wood did you choose to make this in? Um, I've chosen red gum yeah. for the uh, carcass of the body and the legs. Um, and for the decorative yin yang features, I used Victorian ash and spotted gum. Wow. Um, now, were you particularly using the wood to symbolise anything for you? Was it in important for you in terms of the wood you chose? I wouldn't say it was important, it was more just to um, bring out that Asian inspired um, design, so a more reddish, brownish timber suited that better. So That's beautiful. Now Mahjong is a game that is played by a lot of Asian men and women. Yep. What has inspired you in relation to the playing of this game? We've played it throughout our family. Um, I don't know where we got it from, um, but it's a really fun game and it's really strategic as yeah, well. Yeah, very. And the yin and the yang. What Was it purely because you were trying to say this was an Asian game or what were you, what statement were you making by putting yin and yang here? Because it um, shows the decorative features and complexity and technique of the work that I can do as a woodwork. It's an absolutely yeah. beautiful piece of work and you should be so proud of it. So thank you so thank much you. Luke. Well done to you. Thanks. Sir. Got a, you've done a very beautiful job with oh, this. <laughs> now, can you just say this to me? What's the inspiration? Like, firstly, can I ask you this? Is that a drawing there? Are they drawings? Yeah. So they're done with what? A white uh, pencil? White charcoal, yeah. A white charcoal. Yeah. And what inspired you to do this? Um, I was really inspired by the power of the human mind and the psychological state and how there's so much torture and conflict that goes on in the human mind that we can't really comprehend, yet yeah, it's it's there. And um, through the figure, the physical figure, um, this is like um, kind of a visual depiction of what goes on inside the mind, of the invisible um, emotions that we don't see in society. Um, and then I use the use of bands to act as like a metaphor for that physical tension that one feels in the self physically, but yet, um, mentally it's like this eruption that we can't really control and plans for the future um, I hope to do art yeah you hope to do art yeah it's, it's something that is a passion for me so I hope you will and look you'll be famous <laughs> thank you and just remember me when you are <laughs> It 
tells it tells a story of uh, like how 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 I was feeling at the end of my trip because um, the work ta the work all takes place in Florence. Yeah. The last three years it's been me just exploring the mountains, exploring the beauty in the mountains, exploring the different ways that the, the sun rises and sunsets, and I really wanted to present that through my work. Daniel, you're a, you're a very gifted man. Thank you, sir. So well done to you, and thank you so much. Lovely.